Welcome back again with Chef Ricardo Cooking Program. It's all about Christmas. People been shopping. Everyone been doing this, been doing that. People been busy everywhere. Just busy, packed up everywhere. But I'm in the kitchen. And I'm going to give you your favorite recipe, which I'm going to show you how to make your Jamaican sari. Well, I was in the studio today by, um, I was just get, um, interviewing the studio by Colorful Radio. And she said something to me, and I look into it and I take it, and I was thinking about it all the time, coming home. I said, yes, this is the way I'm going to make my sari. And it's one thing, you never can do all to learn. Every day you learn something new. Well, I'm going to teach you something new today about how you to make your own sari. Well, this is a nice tips for you guys. I hope you enjoy the recipe and subscribe to the channel. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from Chef Ricardo. And also, have a wonderful Christmas, guys. As I show you to make this Jamaican piece of ginger, I even get it washed off and remove some of the skin. But what I'm gonna simply do, you know, I'm gonna simply grate it like this. You know, I was in the studio today and the lady was saying to me, this is the best way how she do our our Jamaica, our, our, our sorry drink and I said to myself you know I'm gonna teach someone this lovely so I'm great at a piece of a ginger now I'm great at another piece be careful guys Lovely. So, right here, a great of mine. And I want to simply say to you guys, I grate it, and now I got a pot on the stove with some water. Look at that. Boy, the water is boiling. First of all, what you need to do is to pour that ginger inside of it like this. All of that thick piece of a ginger which we just grated straight inside of the water. Lovely. It's like you're making a ginger beer. But next, the only different one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put three pieces of cove inside of it. Cove is very strong, so be careful. Leave it for about roughly two minutes for it to boil. After two minutes, we're gonna put that sorry. And I wanna say I'm using the dry sorry. You can also get the green one at the food market, but uh, you can get the dry one at the supermarket, even the food market. They all drop the dry one at the local shop. And hopefully you will like the recipe and subscribe to the channel. Lovely and nice. So roughly three minutes now since I have it boiling. And as you can see, it is really boiling very long, very hard. I have my high heat on it. Uh, then first of all, what I'm going to simply do, I got a pack of sorry which is, I want to say, roughly 125 grams. I'm going to use half of it. Straight from the bag. Then next I got a little bit more. I just want to use the whole pack. I just have 120 grams. Simple. Look at this, this is beautiful guys. Now I'm gonna turn off my stove and leave it for about two minutes. Lovely, so I got this oh, roughly almost three to four hours now since I've been having it dry. As I can see the heat even going down and everything. Looking lovely and nice. So what I'm gonna simply do for you now guys, one thing I need to do is to strain it. I'm gonna strain it, but I want to simply say to you, you can leave this for 24 hours from over the night and leave it, make it draw some more. But I'm gonna strain mine now to show you. So as you can see, Ooh, I just no. strained mine. Look at this. Get everything out of it, man. Whoa. Ah, this is beautiful and nice. Lovely. So squeeze the juice from it. Lovely. And nice, I can smell that ginger. Ah, oh, that ginger smells so nice. So as I can see, one thing guys, that 
you, this, it's good for you to leave it for 24 hours over overnight. Well, as you can see, look lovely and nice. Now I have a cup of sugar. I'm gonna pour it in it, just sweeten as it goes along. Still a little bit hot, but you need the sugar to dissolve inside of it, so you need it a little bit hot. I got some red label wine, I'm gonna pour it straight inside of it. This red label wine mixed with some rum. I got, let's see, I just pour the rest of the red label wine and the rum inside of it. This mixed with some rum. I got three shots of rum inside of it. This is a cork shot. I'm using the cork. So I got three corks of shots of rum and the red label wine mixed together. So that what happened now, the rum keep it preserved. Red label wine, good for it too. Put a little bit more sugar. Taste it as it goes along. More sugar. Oh, that's nice, man. That taste that ginger. I put a little bit more sugar inside of it. It's good to use brown sugar. This is really nice. Oh, you know what the beauty I like about it? I'm tasting the ginger, I'm tasting the rum, and I'm tasting the red label wine. This is beautiful and this is nice. And it's not too hot, it's just perfect. So, what you need to do is just to pour this inside of a bottle. You can have it warm also. So what I'm gonna do now, because this is sweet. Yeah, nice. As you can see what did. To make like make things a little more easy for you guys, I'll just simply pour some inside of this glass back right here, and some in my glass. You know you can have warm, warm. Sorry, you know warm sorry is nice, and I just put a lemon on top, an orange on top of it, just to make it give it a little color. It's Christmas, you know, you like bright color and things, ain't it? So. Hopefully you guys will just enjoy the recipe and subscribe my YouTube channel. I believe Santa might happy see him. <laughs> I'm getting sorry this year. Lovely one. Anyway, guys, enjoy the recipe. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. And also, please leave your comments. Thank you very much, Roger Chef, for the Chef Ricardo cooking program. As I said, we have a lot more recipe for you guys. Coming out similar like this, guys, as you can see. Looking so lovely. It's Christmas. Let's get the table decorated. And looking lovely. Santa might be happy this year. He's getting a lot of sorry. Um, I want to simply say to you guys, it is very easy. I'm just using an ordinary dry cereal to make the cereal drink. All you need to do, if you want to leave it for 24 hours overnight to make it draw some more, you can also do that. Quickly do you just leave it for three to four hours in the pot and then a sweet meat, put it into a container. Now I'm gonna put the rest in my fridge. I'm gonna cool it down and put the rest in my fridge for make it last for another three to four more days and all you're gonna be going. So guys, enjoy the recipe, subscribe to the YouTube channel, write your comments if you like my recipe, which I just quickly make for you guys. It's Christmas. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year when it comes. And this one is from Chef Ricardo, thank you very much. Hopefully you guys will have a wonderful time for the 2014 and for the 2015, the best for you. I'll be having a lot more recipes coming up. One love.